Watch you guys, I've shown you how to create an all-in-one PC repair USB flash drive like this. And I'm going to show you how to turn it into something like this by using a custom theme. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. First off, you're going to need to download Ventoy. It's an awesome piece of kit to create your own custom uh, PC repair toolkits. So I've downloaded this and I've got it on my PC now. So let me open this up and drag this folder onto my desktop. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. No complicated stuff is needed in this video. I'll show you all how to do it step by step. I'm going to replace this because I've already got one on my desktop. So once I've got that done, it should look something like this inside the folder. Now you're going to need to have a USB flash drive. Now, whatever flash drive you're using, I'm just using this one here, which is a 32 gig flash drive. Depending on how many ISO files that you want to drag onto it will determine what size of flash drive you're going to need. Once you've got that done, click on the executable file here. This little box will pop up and all you need to do is make sure the device is selected here and then click on the install. It will warn you that the drive is going to be uh, formatted. So say yes. It will say double check here just to make sure everything is OK. Click yes and it will start to install Ventoy onto that USB flash drive. It will open up and it will look blank just like this. We now need to drop on our ISO files. So let me go ahead and get that ready so we can put all our ISO files on here. Now, what ISO files do you want to put on yours? It depends whether you want a Linux multi-boot. USB flash drive or Windows or some repair tools. Just get the ISOs of your choice, copy them and drag them onto the actual USB flash drive, which is the uh, Ventoy flash drive that we just created. This will then drop all those files on here like so. And once we've got that, we can boot to it and it will look something like this. Now, of course, if you want to change the background, I'm going to show you how to do that. You can create your own custom backgrounds with maybe your business logo on here or whatever it is you want to do on your custom builds if you want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to change the theme on here. So first off, you need to go to Ventoy's website here, and you can then go over here and look at the documentation. If you look at the documentation, it will tell you about all of the information you need to know about Ventoy and how it works. What we're looking for is theme plugin. If you look into the Ventoy plugin section here, just down below here, and click on theme plugin, you'll see it tells you how to create your own theme plugin. I've had quite a few people ask me how to change the background, so I thought I'd make that video and show you how to do it. So I wanted to show you the whole process here. So let's go to this link here that's in the website, which I'll leave in the video description here. You can then see there is a bunch of themes that you can use if you don't want to create your own, or maybe you're not creative enough to create your own. You can use some of these cool custom themes that people have already created. You can go on by rating up here and there is some really nice looking themes. This is the one I think we're going to go for the Telegrub theme here and it's created by that person there. And if you want to show your support, you can always chuck him a little donation on there to help him create more awesome themes. So let's go ahead and look at the rating here and click on this so we can see what it looks like. So that's what it's going to look like on your desktop screen. Now, of course, if you're creative enough, you can always create your own ones with your logo and your uh, theme, if that's what you want to do. Now, when you click up here, you'll see there's a little support box here if you want to chuck them a bit of change to say thanks very much for creating this awesome theme. You can hit the download button and download it and use it for free if that's what you choose to do. So click on the download button and download what version you want to do. I'm going to download the 1080p version here and download this to my computer. There we go. That's now down. Let's just click on the download and this will come down. So once we've got this down, we need to install it onto our uh, newly created all in one PC repair USB flash drive, which is our Ventoy flash drive. So we're going to create a folder on here and we're going to call this Ventoy. Now, remember, this is on our USB flash drive that we've just created. It's just a blank, empty folder called Ventoy inside that folder we're going to create a text document and uh, basically right click, go new text. And basically we're going to call that Ventoy dot text as well. So let's just do that right now. Let's just spell that right. There we go. And once we've got that done, we can now create a new folder inside here. So inside the Ventoy folder, we've got now a text document and we're going to create a folder 
and we're going to call this themes. Now inside there, that's where our theme's going to go. So what we need to do now is put in some code which you can get on the Ventoy website, which will go into our Ventoy.txt document here. So open this up and I'll put the pasted code in here. And this is all you need, something like this, okay? You can use their one on their website if you wish. And all you need to do here is the GFX mode will be the size here. And of course, you've got the file here, which is Inventoy themes and the folder name, which is for our themes. So I've already done this already. So I'm going to show you, just change these to whatever you've written your folders. So yours could be a different name. I've called Inventoy and themes. And the next one is Teller, which is the actual theme we're going to be using. I'll make it'll make sense in a second when I drag that folder over. So inside that uh, themes folder here, just go inside here. And what we need to do now is open up our themes, which we downloaded, uh, which was called Teller. So we're just going to drag that into here. So this is what you will look like when you've downloaded it. I'm op opening this with 7-zip. And now I'm going to open this one up. And this is the Teller-1080. So these three files here need to go into the themes area. Now you remember that in that uh, path name, I called it Teller for the theme, and that's exactly what it's called here. It has to be exactly the same, otherwise it won't work. Inside the ventoy.txt, I need to change this now to JSON. Now, if you don't see your extension there, then you need to show that inside your view tab at the top and show extensions. Okay, there's a little tab you have to take the tick out, and you should see something like this now once we're all done. So now we've got all that sorted out, what we need to do now is boot to this and see what it looks like. So you can see everything is in position here and we can now boot up to this and I'll show you what it looks like. And this is what you can expect. Now, of course you will have different ISOs in yours, but basically with all of these ISOs here, you can scan for malware and you can fix pretty much all the PC problems which ain't booting, or maybe you want to back up data or you want to do data recovery or anything like that, you can do it with this uh, toolkit that I've got set out here. Pretty simple and easy to do. I've got my WinPE here and also a bunch of uh, malware scanning tools on there. And pretty much I can do everything I want from this USB flash drive. So it's an all-in-one PC repair USB flash drive. Now, if you look over on the Ventoy website, you can see here that it shows you uh, the script here. And it just it give, explains it into the file, which is what you're pointing to. Uh, which I showed you the graphics mode, which is the size resolution and the display mode and a bunch of other stuff here. You can use this if you want to and basically change this to suit your needs exactly how I showed you and put your own graphic in there and it will show up. It also shows you the GFX mode, uh, the resolutions and stuff like that. I've shown you how to create these before in a video many times before. Can't remember when, but it's quite a long time ago, but basically very simple and easy to do. But you can create your own custom ones if you're good enough at doing graphics. You can create your own custom one with your own logo and all that sort of stuff. Just remember the resolution sort of sizes and stuff like that. But again, this is another one where you can go back to their website and choose whatever theme you want. You don't have to use the same one as I chose here. There's plenty to choose from, and they're all pretty awesome. There's some really cool ones on here as well, like this one here. I like this one. If you want to see more on this sort of content, let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know any ISOs you want me to add to my toolkit so I can show you guys and show you how easy it is to create these awesome all-in-one USB flash drives. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.